Okay, so we, we talked about their good albums. They had three good albums. Everybody, um, you know, uh, you know, talks about these first three albums. They have three classics in a row. Uh, I think already with just those three, they're solidified as one of the greatest groups of all time. But then we have their next three that have mixed, you know, mixed feelings for some people. Now, I've seen Stankonia. In fact, there was a, I think it was an article I was reading one day. It was like the best three album runs. And for Outkast, they had ATLN's equipment I stake on you instead of Southern Player Listen. Yes. And yes. I was like, what? Why? Great nonsense. <laughs> people love, well, people put Stank on up there, man. I don't and, understand and why. That's surprising. Well, I think that's, A, I think that's younger people. Um, Maybe who, because it is a very different sound, of course. And then Stankonia has the big hits that people love. And I don't even, like, this makes it funny to me because as much as I love Outkast, I don't love the big hits that, that some of these people, you know, like, I don't love Miss Jackson like that. So we can talk about it, man. We can talk about it. Let's, let's jump into it because, yeah, 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 this is going to be an interesting one. I hate Gasoline Dreams. I mean, I don't yes. hate it, but yeah. it's not good. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, any, anyone likes the song? Bryce, you like the song? All right, okay, cool. so easy. It was funny, Let's... too, because turning this on, I remember when this album came out, and I remember being so hyped to hear it. Turning it on, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember these songs that I skipped that, like, never wanted to listen to right, and haven't heard right. in years, you know, decades right. or whatever. Um, and it is it is funny, because, like I said, equipment I ends with Chunky Fire, and to me, I feel like I can hear how you go from Chunky Fire to Gasoline Dreams. Like, to me, I, I, that seems like a natural progression. It, you know if that you know if that makes sense, but it's just not as well executed. You know, it, it's still that same type of you know vibe and same you know sonics to it, but it's not as well executed at all. Uh, Agrees. But I love so fresh or so clean. I love uh, cool. again. This is big boy uh, at his finest. I, this is to me one of my favorite Outkast songs. Uh, I love this song. I don't know if it's my favorite Outcast song. I don't know if it's I said one top of 15. I, I, it would definitely be top 20 song to me. For, uh, I don't know if it'll make top 20, but I do like the song a lot. No, all right. Well, so maybe I like it more than six song. Uh, but uh Miss Jackson is probably one of their biggest songs of all time. And mm. I think it's a great song. It, it's a little overplayed, but it's a great song, and everyone knows every word of it, you know, especially Andre's part. I never loved this song, but it's a good song. This is not top 25 Outcast songs. Really? So you don't have So Fresh or Clean or Miss Jackson? No. I I, I, I like you... the other three albums so much more. I just... I love it, <laughs> I, of course. I, I just... How can I put these songs over, you know, any songs on Equipment Eye, and that's what, 12, 13 right there? I mean, I just don't... Uh, we having problems. You see what I'm saying? So... If I listed the songs, I don't know if they would make it. I see. I I still think Miss Jackson is a great song. Like, and everyone always talks about Andre's part, of course. You know, in the you know forever, forever, ever, you know, um, part. But I love Andre. I mean, I love Big Boy's part when he, you know when it comes back on the second verse and he's rapping fast. You know, the mm-hmm. that, that's my favorite part of the song. Uh, yeah. So I I don't I know I I think it's a great song still. Yeah. Bryce, what's your, what's your thoughts on the song? Lots of song, man. What can I say? Hey, man, okay. 2000, these are songs that played in my ears over and over again. I don't think I have mm-hmm. a choice on whether I really truly like them or if they're just programmed into my brain as classic songs. I mean, I think they're classic songs. I think they're both So Fresh So Clean and Miss Jackson classic songs. But when Miss... When So yeah, Fresh So Cream come on, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. And when mm-hmm. the Jacks come on, I'm just like, okay, this song again. Like, it's mm-hmm. so, it's a very different feeling to me. Yeah, I hear you. Um, Snapping the Trap in the Trash. I'm not a fan. Yeah, not good. <laughs> um, and not I like Killer Mike. I'm a, fan, a big fan of Killer Mike. Um, but not good. And, I like Spaghetti uh, Junction. Mm, I'm not I'm not really not a big fan. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like I'll call before I come. That's a terrible song. Terrible song. 
Okay. Great song name, though. Yeah, I guess. If you say so. You say so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then Bombs Over Baghdad is amazing. Oh, yeah. Bombs Over Baghdad is, is definitely their top, see, that three would top make, 10. That would make one of my top That's top uh, 10. 20 Outcast song. That would be yeah, a good I mean, top 15, probably for me. And to me, that's a top five of their songs. To me, that, top that's two, a man, top song. five of all Outcast songs. Yes, man. You got I, this over Crumbling Herb? Nope. Uh, you got this yes. over Elevators? No. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, wow. Elevators. Okay. Yes, I see. Yes, yes, yes. That's amazing to me. Okay, well, dang, you yeah. like this song a lot. I mean, I like this song, but dang. <laughs> <laughs> it's just okay. the thing. The thing about it is that this song, I, I don't. There's no other song like this. To me, it's it's so unique. There's no other song like it. I agree. <laughs> so and I like the song a lot, and I, yeah. I think it might make their top their top twenty songs. But you know, we just have different degrees of where we love it. That's all. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, um, explosion is cool. I like explosion. I like be yeah. real on it. Yeah, same, same. Uh, I do not so, like ha 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 ha. We love these. Oh, ones. I like that one. See, that's what I, I like. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this is a good one. What do you think, uh, B Dog? That sounds all right to me. Like, I don't love. I don't love this album, honestly. I, think I do it's not catchy. love I this think album. It's, no, this album is it's their worst album. It might be easily their worst album. I mean, uh, Idlewild is worse, worse, worse to me, but no, no, we're gonna argue when we get when we get there. No, not at all, no. not at all. There's okay. no idol. There's no bonds over Baghdad on Idlewild. Idlewild. And there's also at no all. call before I come on Idlewild. There's no. There's no. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> there's no snapping and trapping. There's no songs that bad on that album. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, all right. All right. Come on. Let's keep going. Uh, uh, Humble Mumble. I like. Yeah. Uh. Question mark song, uh, which I think of that one. It's cool. Yeah, it's okay. What y'all call like, this song? Do y'all call it question, question or question mark? mark? I, mean, I don't know what, what is it. Question mark. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's short. Yeah, I like Red Velvet. Mm-hmm. Love. I like Red Velvet too. Um, and then okay. Gangsta. I don't really like that one. But y'all think it out. I like it. But I, I like I said, listen to this album, I was like, dang, I ain't heard this in forever. It's not one of my go tos. Yeah. It's uh Toilet Tisha, I don't like. And uh, Slum Beautiful is okay. Toilet Tisha. Not a CeeLo fan. I love CeeLo. But whoever these 24 songs get cut off. Uh, yeah, yeah. maybe more than that. Stay go to that, and that's exactly okay. This is my thing. Okay, we're gonna we can, uh, I, y'all make me want to jump straight to Idaho. Uh, but Idaho is way shorter. If I had to, if you had to sit me in a room and say you have to listen to one of these two albums, I'd way rather listen to Idaho. It's gonna be shorter. The songs, there's no songs that have as big, they don't have as big as highs, but they also don't have as big as lows. So it's a way easier to listen to than this. I I hated listening to this whole album over again. Is this is okay. their easily their worst album? I I okay. and this is this to me, this solves the problem of when we talked about how well would we rather an album be just like good straight through or have you know some super great songs and some Bad songs. I'd rather uh, I'm be good all the way through. Because if I'm gotta sit there and listen to the whole album, I want to enjoy. So that's the, the thing that you don't, and so that's why I think when you're rating the album, uh, yes, when we're rating the album, we're listening to the whole album. But you never have to listen to the whole album. So if you pull off those four songs and they come up on your playlist or whatever, and they your random thing, and you see the Stankonia cover, you're like, wow, Stankonia is so good because I listen to these same four songs all the time. But <laughs> but that don't make a good album. That's my point. That don't make a good album. An album, if we, we're talking about, we're not talking about who's got the best songs. If you're if you're doing pulling, then you're saying, oh, this person has the best uh, hits, or you're saying this person has 
the best singles? Are you saying this person can win the verses? Like those things are all different. But if we saying mm-hmm. is this album good or bad, then that means what is the experience listening through the album? And this experience is not enjoyable listening straight through. So I give I this album a a four, and that's only because of those big hits. That I can't go that low. I can't go that low. It's gonna be a five for me. But um, I mean, yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm mm, I'm never giving it a four. So yeah, I, I'll lean more <laughs> to a five. I'll give it a five. I'm not giving it a four. I'm not giving I it any albums. I mean, four. not with those four, yeah. even just those four songs alone. To me, keep it from being that low. Four out of twenty-four. We're not talking well, about four out of ten. There's a bunch of skits. Like <laughs> yeah, skits. You're right. You're right. There's, so. Okay. All right. So let's just count how many actual <laughs> actual songs. Okay. So uh, gasoline dreams. Uh, so fresh, so clean. Miss Jackson. Snapping and trapping. Uh, Spaghetti Junction. Uh, Call before I come. Uh, be, uh, bombs on the back that explosion sixteen. Uh, we love it. Yeah. Uh, humble mumble. Uh, question mark. Red velvet. Gangster. Toilet tissue. Slum beautiful. Stank on it. Okay, so sixteen. Uh, so four out of sixteen is not good. I didn't say it was. I said this album That's is a not good. Forty-five percent. That's twenty-five percent. If if those if those it's four songs iconic, weren't, weren't so good and and so well yeah. received, I would give this album a lower lower rate. But I just that's the reason why I can't. I mean that, that's the only thing. If be if Bombs Over Baghdad and So Fresh So Clean weren't so great, then this album would be a two or one. You know what I mean? Like right. This. <laughs> right. And and so Bonzo Bag that Miss Jackson, So Fresh So Clean, <clears throat> Red Velvet, they bring that up to a um and I, I said I like I like uh um uh we love these hoes and Humble Mumble is okay, but that only still brings it up to a four in my book. Four. Okay. Four. Can't give it a four. All right. All right. Well, so that's the love hey. movement. Uh, let's uh, I don't, I, the love movement might be better than us. Uh, the love movement is better. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Uh, let's, let's 